Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. This is a message for you for May. Um, check out your sun, moon, and rising. Check us out on Instagram or on my YouTube. Instagram, I post daily messages. We get pretty cool and deep over there. We talk about different things and a couple different interviews. So it's pretty dope. Let's dive into Air Signs. Uh, message for me greatly appreciate all of you I really do sometimes I forget what I'm doing or why I'm doing it and I really do appreciate you guys sometimes it's nice to like get out of my own head and do something for someone else because it's not my energy I needed to say that so let's pull some nine cards, some oracle cards, and let's get into the story. The chariot. Oof, where are we going, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? King of Wands, nine of cups. Satisfied with where you're going. The magician, wow. Six of pentacles, the temperance. Wow. Two of cups, queen of pentacles, and the lovers. Wow. How these messages are coming out today answers interesting if you have water in your chart you should check out the water sign and to be honest you pretty much have almost the same cards from Osho Zen we have comparison oh compromise hmm I might read that that one's new for me and from shamanic healing we have feminine energy Ex excelente so listen we're going somewhere we're really standing in our power and we're extremely satisfied with where we're going. Brutally honest. This is like super straightforward here. The Magician Six of Pentacles and the Temperance card. Like you pretty much have created something here and I really feel like you very well might be starting to reap the rewards and getting the answers and moving forward on things because you might have received the answers from a wise old figure or maybe you went within. <laughs> You went within, which is where inner God sits because we're all the gods of our reality. And while we're still connected to source, creator, commander, right? However you quantify and, and quantum physics that aspect in your life. And you're about to be extremely satisfied with where it's going. You're super authentic, standing in your power and being really creative. Um, like leader-like aspect, you're taking control over something here that you're really satisfied about or heading in that direction. Whether that's you already have it or you're trying to find the answers for that bigger meaning in life. <clears throat> uh, we have the magician here with the six of pentacles and the temperance. Like I said, you, you, you're, you're in a position where your things are starting to work out in your favor and it's really balancing out your life. Like things are, literally things are working out for you. Like things are literally working out for you magician card number one like spot on working out in your favor in the month of may two of pentacles queen of pentacles the lover's card here right you're, you're juggling i think you're making wise choices i think you very well, very well might have tapped into your feminine energy here in order for you to really be able to balance your both your masculine and feminine sides here right again i'm saying that because the lovers is here Right, a sense of duality here. Duality, two of pentacles. Do you see the balance here? Smack dab in the middle of that is the queen of pentacles, stable, secure, you know, domestic at the same time, can utilize her resources, right? So it's like you're utilizing all aspects of both masculine and feminine here is how I'm gonna kind of see that. You're making wise choices in life and you're going in the direction that's heading you towards that, but you really are, you've just aspect of like mastering yourself here like you're so satisfied with where it's going you're you're very much really balancing things out i see an aspect of balancing here i have three four cards that tell me like something here is literally balancing itself out here for you <clears throat> i want to read this com um compromise card here Card number six, but it is, just bear with me.
Hmm, it's the rainbow, so it's the physical. Interesting. Oh, you're not con Oof, wait till you hear this. Two figures on this card remind us of the sleazy and the, the conspiratorial situations that we get into when we compromise our own truth. You're literally standing in your power here. It's the one thing we meet another halfway to understand the point of view from our own and work towards harmony of an opposing force. It is cool, quite, it, it is quite another to cave in and betray our own truth. Beware, the reward of this kind of compromise always leave a bitter taste in the mouth. Compromise is not going to help. Be, never repress anything. Be clear, cut out, clear cut about your situation. <clears throat> I had things highlighted, so I was trying to catch myself up there. There's something that's pretty clear here. And you're doing it your way, which is why you're satisfied with where it's going. <clears throat> it's actually working out for you. If you're dealing with another person here, you know, I, this is like very solo vibes here. Whatever direction you very well might be in. But like, you're not putting up with it. It's like, if it's not fair for me and it's not equal give and take and and however you quantify and define fair and have, you know, validity towards fairness in your life, you know, not for everyone, it's not 50-50, but in an aspect of, of just self. Like, does it balancing me out? I, at the same time, you're prepared to do everything on your own. So this really tells me like you're holding a lot of weight and whatever the situation might be that you're moving forward on and really standing in your power in. And you really are making the choices from a different space. Like the, you're weighing out your scales. Like I said, there's four pictations here that tells me there's two sides to something here and you're on your side. You're holding more weight on your side. The leader like energy and the powerful person that you are is on your side. I didn't even, I didn't even clarify these jeez let's clarify the chariot king of wands ace of pentacles i think it very well can be an offer while wow, the world's card with the king of wands literally like you're going to be put on a pedestal and people are going to see who you are and you're going to see the offers coming in and you literally are going to be recognized here there's an aspect of he really being recognized some of you very well can be an influencer of some sort um chill and i leave aquarius and really starting to see the rewards and the opportunities from putting yourself out there and portraying yourself in a certain way uh, that has opened the door to you really being some sort of leader or influencer in the world or, you know, leader-like figure in the workplace or just in your own life, maybe even in public or giving people the answers to things that they need and people validate and understand where you're coming from. And that came from you not willing to compromise Let's clarify the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. The Sun card. Wow, something here really does bring you joy. Page of Pentacles. You've invested a lot of time and effort into this Page of Swords, and you're gaining the information. Harmony and an aspect of, of, of patience has come with a lot of learning and a lot of exploring here. These pages tell me like this has just been an exploratory aspect. You've explored your life, what works for you, what doesn't work for you financially, maybe even physically in some sort, or even how you communicate. How you're communicating very well can have been a lot of trial and error with the page of swords on top of the temperance. It's like, like you've worked through some things and you've gained some more knowledge in order to understand certain aspects. You've probably made compromises and now you're in a position where like, no, if that doesn't fill my cup up and doesn't make me joyful and courageous and happy, then I'm not you have done a lot of work here the magician has the tools that he needs and he knows what it is that he wants to go after and it's the happiness card right and i feel like there's no one else that's going to be able to give you that except for yourself <clears throat> let's clarify two of pentacles queen of cups and the lovers king of pentacles wow six of cups on um, the queen of pentacles and to clarify the lovers nine of cups again this is why i love using two decks here listen linda you've juggled stability right you have 
very well in a position where you're creating new memories with your financial structure, with, with the balance that you've created with yourself. You're extremely happy and you're making choices that are working out for your favor, that are satisfying your needs. You're satisfying yourself here by actually stepping up to the plate or even being given an opportunity to step up to the plate. Some of you very well might just be given an opportunity to like, here's your show, show me what you got. And you're 100% capable of doing so, right? You've you've been investing and you've been exploring, right? You've probably been exploring for a while and you've made compromises and you know what works and what doesn't work for you. I feel like this compromise card is like literally right there in my face now. And you're like, you know what? Maybe you might have been very, with the feminine card, maybe you might have been in your egotistical mindset, <clears throat> very ego-driven, you know, very direct at the same time. And But then we have the emperor here with the, with the nine of cups here, this is like, yes, I'm a leader figure. Yes, I'm an influencer, but I'm actually more emotionally stable. I'm actually satisfied with where I'm at emotionally, right? So you've tapped into your feminine energy. Some of you very well might have just tapped into your feminine energy after after realizing that the compromises you've made weren't balancing out your scales. Like I said, four sets of scales here. And things are actually working out for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's pull a fallback card here. Sweat it out. Get out of your head and into your body. Practice yoga. Exercise. Freeze the mind. Some of you very well might have just shed a lot of tears. Sweat it out. Get out of your head and into your body. I also take that as like cry it out. Right? You've let things out. You're letting things out and you're moving forward on certain things here. Let's pull another one. You are enough. You always have been. You always will be. Release attachments to relationships and achievements to feel worthy. Uh, my friend here, you are fellow air signs. We are realizing that we are the master of our world and the god of our world and releasing, untangling, pulling, and releasing what no longer serves us in the highest way and really understanding that only you can satisfy your needs when you take control over your life and your perspective and what that looks like for you. Emotional stability followed by control over the direction that I want to go into. You're making the best choices for you. There's something here that's very balanced and dual for you. Like, like literally, it's like you want it, you have it, it's yours. Compromise might have worked out for you at a certain point in time, but Maybe some of you might have to realize that that might be the aspect that you have to drop or, or get into, right? We can read that both ways. I didn't talk about that, but you very well might need to make some sort of compromise. It's not really what I'm reading here, though, to be honest. It's not what I'm reading. It's your way, and it's working out for you, and that's the bottom line. My name is Alvin Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now. <laughs>